All right, what you're looking at here is a repro I ordered. A repro cart of the Super Nintendo Mortal Kombat 2. I just wanted the box and everything like I remembered it. Um, I did have the original uh, game. Um, but a friend of mine and his son wanted a Super Nintendo and uh, he was reminiscing. And so I gave him, I ordered this and I gave him and his son my other copy, my original copy of Mortal Kombat 2 on the Super Nintendo. And I just got this one. This one plays just fine like the original. And like I said, it's got box art and everything on it. But you know, hey, they... They wanted it, or well, they didn't specifically want mine, but they wanted a Super Nintendo. So I, I donated one of my Super Nintendos, and then I gave them Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and a copy of Ultimate. And if you look here, give me a second. I actually ordered those two. So I have a copy of Mortal Kombat 1 repro in the box just to put on display with all the back art and everything. And the same with Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 with all the art on the back of it too uh, that you can find online for the Super Nintendo. But one of the things I wanted to talk about also was one of the controllers I use. It's an 8-bit dough controller, a Bluetooth controller you can use on your Super Nintendo. And personally, I think this thing works better than my, my original controllers. The D-pad feels great. The buttons are very responsive. Um, and it, it's just one of my favorite controllers to use. Um, if I'm not... Uh, using emulation and I'm using hardware this is my go-to I have two of these this is the limited edition gold um, you can go to 8-bit Doe's website and uh, <clears throat> I'm sure they I don't know if they have the gold anymore but they they usually have uh, multiple colors original gray and all that stuff uh, there's even black colors too uh, like a complete black color Another one that I use, and I'll show you here, is this one here. This is for my PC, so 8-Bit Doe also makes this one. So it's kind of got a uh, Super Nintendo feel or look to it, PlayStation kind of look, but also it is obviously made for Xbox or Windows. So when I'm playing on my PC, that's what I'm using. I also have Xbox controllers, PlayStation 4 controllers that I have, obviously, that run to my PC and my PS4, depending on what I'm playing. Um, but today, we are going to play this, Mortal Kombat 2, and we are going to play it on very hard. I'm going to go through as Baraka. So, let's go ahead and play Mortal Kombat 2. All right, let's start it off with an old school intro. One of the things I remembered uh, when I was telling you guys, uh, you can beat the game when you get to Shao Kahn with low kick with every character. There was one character I forgot about, uh, Baraka. So Baraka, he's the, the, the one exception. Um, his his low kick is it's got a slow um, a slow recovery. So let me get these options on very hard here real quick because I wanted to play it on very hard. Um, and then we're gonna put in the thirty credits code. 
If you don't know what that is, that is starting from the left in the character select screen. Left, up, right, down, left, select, and then you'll get 30 credits. And you can do it as many times as you want. Uh, but anyway, his, his low kick is a very slow startup. So with him, you got to do it a little bit different. You can't exactly do only low kick with him. Um, you're going to have to do like blade swipes and, and kind of fight him a little bit different. Uh, pretty much, I'll have to show you when I get to him. Uh, you got to trick him a little bit differently. Another thing too is the first guy on Very Hard in the arcade also reacts differently. He will, if you have the arcade version on Very Hard, the first guy will kick your ass if you're not if you're not careful. Super Nintendo one almost always reacts the same. I'm gonna show you some techniques with him too. Round one, fight. All right, so Reptile's already being a turd. Ooh, that was close. <clears throat> All right, since I know Reptile's gonna react that way, I'm gonna try to fight him a little differently here. I'm gonna try to hop kick him. All right, so I don't want to be in the corner. Reptile tends to do that. Um, oop. He tends to do that in this when you're on very hard. He's going to do the invisibility a lot. So you want to try to stop him from doing that, take him out as fast as you can. Finish him. We got him to react a little bit better that time. He can be pain in the butt. Round one, fight. All right, so what you want to do, roundhouse him away from you and then do a blade spark immediately. That's if I, that's if I can. <laughs> That's if I can get him to jump at me. Most of the time, they're going to get hit. Fight. See that? It's kind of like, it's the same concept as Sub-Zero, but you're almost doing it before they hit the ground. Like as soon as you do the roundhouse kick, you're starting to do the blade spark, if that makes sense. Now Raiden, he's a little bit different. You want him to teleport so you can do that to him. So basically, you blade spark at him to get him to teleport and then do a blade fury. And repeat the process. And do it fast enough to where he can't grab you. Wins. 
brutality. And it's the same concept with Kung Lao. We should come across him too. Oh, I should have known she's gonna do that. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, she's just gonna. She's just gonna treat him like a. Oh! Ha ha ha! Jeez! Talk about terrible luck! Oh, my timing was off! And yes, you can actually get her to do the same thing. It's just a little bit harder. It doesn't always work, so I don't I don't tend to to do that so much with her. Give me a smooch. She just wanted a hug, that's all. Mylena's gonna be mad at him, uh oh. He's trying to kiss other girls. That timing was off. Nope, get thrown out of the corner before he demolishes me there. Get back to the middle. Again with Luke Kane, you don't want to play too much because that happens. And you die. <laughs> For example, Exhibit A. This is what happens if you play with Luke Kane too much. You don't want to do blade sparks with him. He will most definitely counter it with a low fireball. Oh, come on, Luke Kane. He will absolutely counter it with a low fireball every time you throw it. And it won't matter if you have him in the air still, somehow he will still be able to throw a low fireball. Because you know how the computer is, they do whatever they want. Take a swim. Look, he's smiling. <laughs> he just needed to take a swim, that's all. Oh, man. Oh, I messed that timing up. Throw me out of the corner, Sub-Zero. Nope. So with Sub-Zero or any, any character that slides, most of the time you can hit him with the Blade Spark as they're getting up when they try to slide.
so far we're not doing too bad on wins. I don't know how we're going to fare with uh, Shao Kahn. We'll see. Round one, fight. I just know sometimes he can be a complete pain in the butt. What was that? What was that? I'm Mylena. What is going on here? Wow. That was, uh, that threw me off. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get down to business. Just get down to business. Yeah, I'm not playing with her now. That that first round threw me off. I'm like, what is happening? Mylena, the easiest character in the game, I lost to her? What? What? Three, fight. Finish her. Well, you know what? Happy Valentine's Day anyway. <laughs> and that's to all you guys as well. Happy Valentine's Day. Flawless victory. Friendship. Friendship. Round one. Fight. And I didn't pull off the blade spark. And I didn't do it again. <laughs> and I didn't do it again. My timing was off. I must be tired or something. Oh, come on. Get a kick to the mouth. I don't know what's going on there. I should have been doing blade sparks, but for some reason I just wasn't getting them. Maybe I was doing it too soon. Sometimes I do a move too fast when I shouldn't be doing it. My timing was off. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. I like how he just gets the punch through your blades. Not right there, buddy. <laughs> Gotta have it at the perfect range. Haha. -ha. Off with your head. <laughs> yeah, he tried. I was screwing around. I should, I should probably not do that when it's on very hard. <laughs> Honestly, I I don't even really care. Let's try to get Jade though. Let's try to use only low kick. This is not gonna be easy. Oof. Oh! Oh, that's so hard. Barack is... It's its hard to fight Scorpion with Baraka with low kick like that, because, uh... I don't know, maybe it's me psyching myself out. <laughs> it probably is. I'm probably crazy fighting her this way. 
Oh well, we might as well, we're here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Blade Spark don't work. But this does. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Damn it! Throw me, come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was close. One more, let's see if we can do it. Round three. Fight. Ooh! Come on, Jade. was close oh jeez oh oh that was so close oh man ah oh. ah oh. that one hurt we almost made it ah oh. Lost on Jade. Ugh. Round one. Fight. I mean, honestly, at least they let you keep your wins, but man, that should have been 12. We should have had that. He jumped a little late there. Kick. Still one of my favorite fatalities. I love this one. Flawless victory. Fatality. Fatality. All right, let's test our luck on Kentaro and Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn is going to be the worst, unless he goes in quarter muncher mode. We'll see. He could. Oh. Oh. Here we go. I'm surprised you didn't start throwing me a bunch of times. Round two. Fight. Ooh. Oh man, I know. Okay, now I'm gonna try to do my best on here to show you how I beat Shao Kahn with Baraka. We'll see if we have luck. You will die, mortal. Okay, now again, like I said, a little bit harder. Oh, see, his his kick didn't come out. I don't know why it didn't come out, so. If I lose, I lose.
That's pretty much how you got to play it. You have to. His low kick, and I tried to show you at the beginning. I'm just trying not to lose here. Um, it literally will. Um, it it literally will kill you because it's too slow. But his spark is faster. Okay, his spark is faster, and you can usually stay ahead of Shao Kahn if you do the spark. Because you have a faster recovery than Shao Kahn does. So I get it at a distance and I do a whole bunch of sparks. And then um, when he starts to pursue me, I'll do a jump kick, maybe a high kick to push him back. And then try to do a blade fury. Um, but the sparks are your best bet. So you get a distance and throw a bunch of sparks. Uh, because his light kick, like I said, the first round I tried to show you, but I didn't want to die a billion times. Um, maybe I'll, you know what, after this goes through, uh, I will show you. I'll show you what I mean, um, since we made it through here. And here's his ending real quick. Um, so I didn't want you guys to, when I, after I thought about this, and I, because I love going through with Baraka, um, I remembered he was a little different. Um, in the arcade... He's got a faster recovery. It's still slow, and you still got to play him a little bit different. Um, but uh, here, let me let me show you what I mean. All right, I fought all the way back up here just to show you what I'm saying. You will die, mortal. All right, so what you'd normally do is this. You will die. See. You're going to get hit more often with him. You see how it did not work consistently. Uh, because, I don't know if it's hit detection, I just know the startup is slower. So, you're going to have to alt. If you're trying to do it that way, it's going to have to alternate between uh, low kicks and high kicks. So and that's and that's why I don't do that method with Baraka so much. And I, it's funny. When I went to play the game, um, and I'm just gonna let this run out. When I went to play the game originally, um, I thought it was gonna be the same thing in the arcade. You know, as as I found because I found that by accident. I, I can't remember if it was Scorpion. It was some. It was one of the ninjas. And I hit low kick. And it hit him. And he kept running into it. And I don't remember how I found it. Um, and so I used it with every character. And, I, and when I got there as Baraka, I remember doing the same thing. And it didn't work. But when I stayed at a distance, I realized that his blade spark was faster... Um, I could hit him with a couple blade sparks, keep a distance, try to jump in, you know, or fake him out and do that blade fury. So I was still could could loop the game. The only problem I had with the entire game was was Shao Kahn himself. You just had to play it a little different with him. And like I said, you can still do the uh, you can still beat him with those kicks. You just have to. It's a lot more risky, um, and you're gonna have to alternate between the low kick and the high kick. And with him, that's just too risky for me. You are better off doing blade sparks at a distance with uh, with Baraka and uh, getting a, you know doing a blade swipe or a blade fury when he gets close, a low kick or a high kick sparingly to keep him at a distance. So you almost fight him um, more at a distance with Baraka than you do close. Um, anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Um, I wanted to I wanted to clear that up so. Uh, so if you did go through with Baraka, you're wondering why it wasn't working and you're not crazy. Yes, his kick on his startup is slower and the recovery is slower. Anyways, guys, play something fun. Have a good day and I will see you next time.